In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the country of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who greeted us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit it through them and to reach eternal joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is the grace to the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Jerusalem 
does, uh, who does uh, nothing know all the things that have taken place uh, there in these days? And he replied uh, to them, What sort of uh, things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus uh, the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to a tomb and found the things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke. Was it, was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what they referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going further, but they urged him, Stay with us, for it is near, nearly evening, and the day is almost over. So he went in and stayed with them, and it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were open and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning with us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found it gathered to God together the eleven, and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised, and has appeared to Simon. Then the tomb recounted what had taken place on the way, and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. One in faith, united in baptism, we offer our needs and the needs of the whole world to our Heavenly Father. For the Catholic Church throughout the world, may God guide and encourage all believers in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are grieving the loss of the loved ones during this Easter season, may God provide a comfort to the hope of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all in this faith community who are sick in the mind or in body, may God give them courage as they face the difficulties of the treatment and recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And let us pray for today's intention for a source in recovery. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for humbly hearing our prayer. Accept our petitions in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The 
said, I will have appropriation for the goodness you have received the bribery offering the fruit of the earth and workers in hand. You will become proud of that alive.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil, graciously grant each in our day, and that by your help and mercy may be always free from sin, and stand from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peter and Eva, my Peter and Eva, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant by peace and unity in accordance with your will. Full of grace, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us ask each other the sign of peace. Let us God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the hand who takes away the sins of the world. The blessed are those who go to the stop of the land. The May the Lord have mercy and save us, O Lord. May the Lord have mercy and save us, O Lord.